Oh, all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashayak, Yahweh Shah. This is uh, Sons of Jacob Tossin, man, and we are here to destroy the lies that have been perpetuated by the enemy for so long, man. And to tell the, you know what I'm saying, the natives, blacks, and Hispanics that you are God's chosen people according yes, to the right. Bible. The Israelites, man. We on the scene, man. All praises to the Most High. Uh... It's the holy Shabbat, you know what I'm saying? But to a lot of folks, it's just a regular day. But we here to change that. So I'm going to be a slothful, man. You know, because it's something a lot of brothers struggle with, a lot of sisters struggle with, you know. But where I'm at is that I'm going to take accountability for myself and say I could be, you know, more diligent, more hardworking, and, you know, you know, I still can could be less less slothful, man. Just because you just because you go to work every day, man, that don't mean you're not being slothful, man. In other areas, man. Right? Uh let's get the precepts, man. Let's let's get the Bible, man. Yee. It's chilly out here, so if you see brothers kinda acting funny, just forgive us, man. It's chilly. Whew. Can you get a got it? This is Sarak chapter 19, verse 1. A laboring man that is given to drunkenness shall not be rich, and he that contemneth small things shall fall by little and little. Right, so. A laboring man that is given to drunkenness shall not be rich. So that's the first part. I'm gonna get that out the way. You know, you don't wanna be given to too much wine. You don't wanna be given to too much alcohol, period. Uh, you wanna show self-control. You know with everything that you do and you wanna use moderation. But the second part said, can you read it again about the show? It says, and he that falleth, sorry, and he that contemneth contemnate small things shall fall by little and little so it said if you out here overlooking the small details you always letting small stuff slide you always contemning small things then you're gonna fall little by little man you can't let little stuff slide every time man my mama when i was a little kid you know when you're a little kid a lot of stuff don't make sense to you right like when i was a little kid and your parents making a big deal out of something, you kind of don't see why it's a big deal. And then when you get grown, you start to understand like, damn, I see why they was on me about that. And you appreciate your parents for what they were saying to you. You know, even if, you know, you appreciate your parents' teachings, man, no matter what background. But like, uh, for example, my mama used to be on me, like uh, walk, I walk through the house, I'll be like six, seven years old. I see something on the floor and I step over it. She's like, go pick that up. Don't just don't just see something on the floor and don't pick it up. And I'm like, you know, not a big deal like that. But now I see how it's a big deal, man. You make a habit out of that before you know it, man. You're gonna be living in uh, what my they used to say. The roach is gonna pack you off, man. <laughs> they used to say, man, you gonna, you gonna have so many roaches they gonna carry they gonna kick you out the house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in the way. In the way, man. You know the filth going over to you know you just can't be slothful in that manner, man. You can't let little things slide, man. You can't let little things build up. You gotta be on top of it. Uh micromanage to a certain extent, man. That's just come that's just what come with it, man. I know it's a lot of effort to 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 take care of major things and minor things, but it's something we gotta kinda do, man, and it's something you know, it's something we gotta deal with. Yeah. This is Proverbs chapter 12, verse 24. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. So it says, the hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the hand of the slothful shall be under tribute. So you got to remember that building a nation right now, you can't be slothful of building your nation either. Right. You know what I'm saying? How are we supposed to get back to our righteous state if we're not putting in that work? 
So brothers, so there is a a, a, a personal use for softness, but also you have, you can be softness when it comes to the ministry of Christ. Woo! Who is that? <laughs> hey, who is this guy? Soldier Zion, stop playing with a yeah. mighty point, man. Yeah. Hey, don't be slothful when it comes to this ministry, man. Don't be slothful when it comes to this hey, ministry, hey, man. Because uh, he said the hand of the diligent, right? So I know this, I'll say this from personal experience. And I'm going to be a little bit transparent as well. I was sometimes that I would be like, I would see Officer Mahar and Officer uh, Aharon do a lesson. I'm like, man, I was going to do that lesson, bro. <laughs> they did the same lesson I was about to do, but they was diligent about it. And they, the most I got gave it to them. You know what I'm saying? While I was sitting here doing something else or letting other things distract me, the hand of the diligent came up and did the lesson. You see what I'm saying? It, over, it overthrew me like that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, I, I guess I'll do a part two. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's, that's beautiful through the spirit. That's amazing. And I'm, I, that just reminded me of something because brothers that, brothers that know, know you might have an idea for a, a video or something you want to talk about and you just put it to the side for a second. You know, you might get distracted or something. But... I was gonna make this video. I still might make it. I ain't gonna kill nobody if I make it anyway. Uh, but I wanna get the definition of diligent, man. Uh, I'm gonna pull out the definition of diligent, man. If my phone service will cooperate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got a new phone, though, right? <laughs> be, yeah, man. I'll be thinking this phone be working with the ops, man. Uh, Sometimes my Bible app be jacking up. Anyway, they got the, they got their hands in the Bible app. Here we go. Salakia, please, please, please. Okay. Okay, I got it. 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 Thank, thank, thank you, all patient. This uh, diligent. The definition of diligent in the Merriam-Webster dictionary. It says, characterized by steady, earnest, and energetic effort. You know what I'm saying? So, characterized by steady, earnest, and energetic effort, man. And you, it say the hand of, that's the definition of diligent. And it says the hand of the diligent is gonna be, is gonna bear rule. So, the most high is not looking for lazy brothers, man. It say the hand of the diligent is gonna bear rule. If you want to bear rule, you got to be a diligent brother, man, a diligent sister, man, especially when it comes to this work of the Most High, man. Can't be no slacker. I was watching this TV show, and the TV show was like, the dude, the main character had more talent. The main character had more talent. Okay? But there was another dude that was like his rival. He didn't have very much talent, but he was hard at it. He worked very hard consistently. He was diligent at, at what he knew. He was hard at it, like just, like, you know, he, he operated in some small matters, but he was consistent. And the, and the teacher was like, you talented, but you gotta be careful because he's gonna come up and surpass you. Because he was consistently diligent, working on that same little, same move, same technique, Ooh, something small. Right. And he was like, damn, you know, I got to, he is, he was side-eyeing the dude because the dude was over there working while he was chilling. You know what I'm saying? He's like, ah, oh, he ain't going to, but he had more talent at that time. And we see that all the time, especially in, in movies, but that's, that's true. That's a, that's a true statement. Hey, y'all heard it from the last man. Hey, that, that, bring me, that made me think of a, a saying that I done heard a lot of times, uh, hard work beats talent. Uh, hey, this is a quote. This is a quote from Bruce Lee, man. <laughs> Bruce Lee, man. If y'all know, y'all know, man. Bruce Lee, man. Honorary is like. You know what I'm saying? You can't prove to me he not. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. But look. You know what I'm saying? Don't bear false witness. Look. Bruce Lee said, I fear the man. I don't fear the man that unpracticed 10,000 different kicks. I fear the man who done practiced one kick 10,000 times. Woo! Bro, you you get if that brother catch you to that kick, it's over. But I'm telling you. Yeah. Hey man. That don't, that's all good. Y'all yeah, don't get it yet, but I'm gonna bear with you, man. <laughs> nah, but all jokes aside, you know, you wanna put that hard work and that diligence in to be good at your craft, man. You wanna sharpen that sword. Can you get Ecclesiastes 10 and 10? 
Bobby Kashaw. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 10. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 10. If the iron be blunt and he do not wet the edge, then must he put to more strength. But wisdom is profitable to direct. So if the if the object that you're using is blunt, you're gonna have to put to more force. You're gonna have to use more strength, more effort than you would have to if you just took some time to sharpen up. If you just, like, uh, say you was cutting down a tree. Hey, this is another quote. And shout out to my mighty officers because they put me on this precept and this line of thinking. And uh, I got this quote from uh, Ahran, I believe, showed me about this quote. Abraham Lincoln said, uh, I, you got the quote, you know what I'm talking about, where he said about cutting down the tree? Yeah. Uh, I guess he was given five hours to cut down a tree. Right. And instead of spending five hours chopping at it, he spent Sharp. four hours sharpening his sword. Wow. Sharpening right. the axe, my bad. Right. So he said, it, <laughs> instead of taking five hours going in there with any old axe and, and whacking at the tree, man, you know, he said, I'm, I'm going to spend four hours sharpening the axe, man. And when he come in there with that sharp axe, it's going to go through the tree like butter, man. Not literally, but it's going to be way easier than it would if he was using a dull axe. No. So it's important to... Um, Put that practice in to sharpen up yourself in these different areas and skills, man. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody ain't uh, well-rounded. Everybody ain't just naturally... Uh, you're not going to just be naturally good at everything. The Lord gave you talents, but you're not just going to be good at everything, brother. You're not that guy. So practice, man. What you just saying? Something? Yeah. Okay. This is Proverbs 13, verse, uh, verse 16. Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but a fool layeth open his folly. So like you said, with the axe, you're sharpening your skill, you're prudent. Hey man, prudence, man. You gotta have prudence. Shout out to my pops, because this is something he drilled in me when I was younger, man. And I didn't realize how, how valuable this information he gave me was till I got older, is that practice makes perfect, man. That's something that's true. This is uh, Proverbs 27, verse 17. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Iron sharpeneth iron, man. Hey, when I'm with the brothers, man, I spend a lot of time with the brother Mahar. Shout out to the officer Mahar. That's my brother like like no other, man. But, uh, man, we, we, we big on iron sharpen iron, man. Every time we cooking, every time we meditating, man, we meditate on how we can become sharper. See what I'm saying? It's many, it's many avenues to being, it's not, uh, I don't know if that's the right word. It's many things that go into being a man and being the kind of man that we strive to be. You see what I'm saying? So it's many things we gotta sharpen up on. He, he better at certain things than I am. You see what I'm saying? Is every man, that's why we a body though. You see what I'm saying? That's why we got each other. That's why we are brothers, man. I look up to Captain Jeremiah in certain ways. You know, he got, he got things that I don't got, man, that I'm far from it, man. Ahran, he got things that I don't got. Dahuan, Zion, soldier your call. Got things that I don't got, but it, it make me want to be a better brother. You know what I'm saying? Iron sharp and iron. And they, they beautiful examples. You got some else? Oh, uh, yeah. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 10, verse 18. Whoa. By much slothfulness, the building decayeth. And through idleness of hands, the house drop it through. So you just in the spirit, though. I had that precept. Oh, oh, right. that's, that's my next precept. Weird, bro. You looking at the phone, man. I know what you're doing, man. The Lord supping. So you did. Oh! I'm here. I'm really Spider-Man. Is that my line or is that the precept? Next precept. Hey, y'all praise to the most high. Can you bring it out one more time about It says, Ecclesiastes 10, verse uh, 18. Yep. By much slothfulness, the building decayeth, and through idleness of the hands, the house dropeth through. So, Bob, did you want to touch it? So, so if you, you build a brand new house, 
and you take all the time to get everything right. And after you move in, you don't do any maintenance. You don't clean the roof. You don't clean the gutters. You don't sweep around the foundation. You don't clean the inside of the house. Pretty soon, that, that brand new house is going to decay. It's going to fall right through. Right. Hey. And that's beautiful because it go right back into uh, Cyrac 19 and 1. He that contendeth small things shall fall by little and little. And the example of the house, that's perfect because goddamn... Like he said, you don't you don't sleep around the foundation. You don't clean the gutters, man. You don't do this, you don't do that, man. Your house gonna start, it's gonna start uh becoming weak, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna fall little by little, man. And that goes to many applications. You see what I'm saying? You gotta mind, you can't be the person who pays no attention to detail. You can't be no a, a person who, who who pays no attention to the small things. Cause those small things will turn into big things. Dolph Samar, he always say, shortcuts turn into long cuts. Yeah, yeah. Shortcuts gonna turn into long cuts. And, that, and, and I noticed that it's true. 99% of the time, it ain't too many times where you're gonna take a shortcut and it's just gonna go how you think it's gonna go, man. Instead of taking the shortcut, man, look, just be diligent. Don't try to skip steps. Don't do it. It ain't gonna work right, man. It's the reason. It's the reason why things are in place, man. Just do things the way they're supposed to be done. Don't be the guy who got the new idea and you kind of come trying to do it your way, man. All you gotta do is don't be that brother. <laughs> Give me the word. Two don't, minutes. Don't be the all you gotta do, brother. Hey, tap in, bro. Huh? Uh, what we talking about? Look, bro. Just, yeah. Hey, yeah. Five, hey, hey, two, oh. two, three minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two, two, three scriptures. Let's do it. Just three scriptures. Yeah. Let's do it. Start it. Okay. For sure, for sure. Hey, I appreciate you coming over here, bro. For real, for real. How old is you? What's your name? Uh, Tico. Okay. I'll come. Uh, so, uh, have you ever heard of the Israelites? Yeah. You know about that. You know, you hear about that. Yeah, the body. Okay. So, uh, what you think about the movement? What you think? Uh, Dan, I, don't really, what, 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 what I don't really know too much of it, but I know some of it. Okay, so I'm just going to make it kind of quick. Because, you know, we, we believe that uh, the people... Where the Israelites? Uh, yeah, we believe that the blacks, natives, and Hispanics are the Israelites. I That's right. I'm going to try to, you know what I'm saying? The blacks, natives, and Hispanics are the Israelites, according to the Bible. Right. Wow. And uh, Deuteronomy 10 12. Deuteronomy 10 and 12, right? So if you tap in with us, can we get your flyer? Yeah. And we got YouTube and things like that too. So you can tap in with the YouTube and stay posted. Yeah. Man, this is, hey, this is where it's at right here. I'm going to just say that. But, um, yes, sir. Yeah, I'm commanded. For a fact. So we gonna, I'm going to show you. How to repent according to the Bible? Because do you know how to repent? Yeah. How do you repent? Uh, ask for forgiveness. Right. Uh, repent basically, you know, say, you know, you sin. Repent basically, uh, you know, you know, you know. Yeah, I like what you said. So it's it's a serious thing when it comes to repentance. And uh, I'm just giving my understanding on repentance, bro. You, like you said, you gotta confess your sins to God that you got sin, and you gotta turn away from your sin. Like, right. You gotta stop sin. So in order to do that, you gotta know what sin is. If you gonna if you gonna tell God I'ma stop sinning, you gotta know what sin means, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna show you this. First John verse three. Yes, sir. This is First John chapter three verse four. Go. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. So look, sin is when you trans transgress God's laws. Do you know any of God's laws? You got the laws that they otherwise known as the commandments. You, said you heard about God, Ten Commandments. Yeah, you done heard about God's word. You know what I'm saying? His do's and don'ts. That's what you got to know. You see what I'm saying? Uh, in order to repent. You see what I'm saying? To, to repent is to go from, uh, what's it called? Breaking God's commandments to keeping God's commandments. Right. I'm steady harping on the same point because if you're going to tell God I'm going to stop Sinning, you gotta you gotta know what sin is. Yeah. That's right. So what's sin? Uh, 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 
to make it to make because you listen I, fuck, I, I, I mess with it so uh to make it a long story short a sin is when you break god commandments so if god say thou shalt not kill and you go kill your brother what, what that mean right so if god say thou shalt not kill you Like, bro, you guys chosen people, bro. Uh, you special, bro. You ain't regular out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. No. And now, Israel, what did the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord. What? To keep the commandments of the Lord. And his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. So, these commandments that he telling us to keep, they for our good, bro. Because it ain't, I know you done heard Time. this plenty of times, bro. You're 22 Leviticus years old, 11 bro. And 7. I've been hearing this since I was little, bro. These streets ain't got nothing for you for what? Jail cell or a grave, a grave site. That's the only thing you're going to get up out these streets, bro. No matter which way you try to play it, bro. I can guarantee it. But when you walking in God's commandments, you know what I'm saying? He going to show you a new way. You're gonna be looking at life completely different in a way you never, never saw it. That's right. You're gonna be growing in ways you never thought was possible. You never seen yourself doing, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's more to it than what you from Tulsa. It's more to it, bro. It's way more to it, bro. You an Israelite. You see what I'm saying? You God's chosen people for real. Uh, this is Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. No. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, and yet he chew it not to cut he is unclean to you of their flesh shall you not eat and of their carcass shall you not touch they are unclean to you so he showed you that bro uh he showed you that to let you know bro eating pork is a sin bro according to god you see what i'm saying so i don't know if that's something that you struggle with but it's a sin according to god so i encourage you to stop doing that man. Even if you have a hard time doing it, bro, just stop doing it, and God gonna reward you for that. You see what I'm saying? God. It's, it, it's that's how you walk in blessings, man. Instead of having a hard time with everything you're trying to do, you keep God's commandments, you're gonna be blessed. You see what I'm saying? Hey, on that one. Can I bring, can I bring this one First John chapter three verse two. Because that's just goes with what he said. He said you'll be blessed. Though. I want you to know why it's important for you to repent, bro. I want you to, that's something I want you to know today. This is first John chapter 3, verse 22. No. It says, and whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments. One more time. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Whatsoever we ask, we receive because we keep his commandments. Right. You gotta start keeping his commandments. The Bible says, he heareth not sinners. He said, even your prayer shall be an abomination if you turn your ear away from God's laws. Yeah. So a lot of people will pray, ask God for help. God, help me. God, help me. He said, he's going to laugh at you. The Bible says that. That was the Bible says. So, so, so check it out, brother. So check it out, brother. I know we're putting a lot on you right quick, real fast. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, man. 22, bro. So you're grown as hell out right now. So it's really the perfect time. Yeah. To understand that you are Israelite, you God's chosen people, and that you gotta keep God's commandments. Hold on, get that, and then I want to uh, uh, be a man. Oh, okay. So, like, so bring out the Acts 3 19. This is Acts 3 verse 19. You know? Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So when the Lord, when the Lord who the world calls Jesus Christ, when he come, you see what I'm saying? You want to be somebody who's been obeying God. You don't want to be somebody who's been out here doing whatever you want to do. This is the way that you get your sins forgiven. It's by obeying God right now. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no time to be playing out here, trying to be one, one foot in, one foot out. You got to get for real about God if you want your sins forgiven, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I know this ain't something people talk about a lot on a serious level. But I'm telling you right now, if you want your sins forgiven, when Christ come back, you have to obey God's commandments. You see what I'm saying? But uh, 
This is First Kings chapter 2, verse 1. Nope. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. And he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and shew thyself a man. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways. To keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies. As it written in the law of Moses. Uh, cause it's, I know it's called. But, uh, bro, in order, according to the Bible, to be considered a man, what it means to be a man is to obey God and walk in his ways, to do what he told you to do. That's no right! Matter, no matter how niggas feeling about you, you know what I'm saying? No matter how people start to look at you, bro. I'm telling you right now, when you really serve God, when you really serve God, people gonna start to look at you different, bro. Like you doing something wrong, bro. But, hey, that's when it, that's when it, that's what's really gonna make you a man. You see what I'm saying? That's already... That's already understood, bro. That's what's gonna come with it. Uh, so in order to be considered a man, give me Psalms 119 and uh, I think we're gonna go this way. 119 and nine. 119 and nine, right. So I wanna see you doing great things out here. That nigga fail. I wanna see you doing great things out here, buddy. So, uh, that, you know. Psalms chapter 119 verse 19 no. or 119 verse 9 wherewith wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word so how can a young man cleanse his way it's say by taking heed according to God's word and I ain't talking about no Christianity church type of vibe. I'm talking about the truth of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you got the flyer, so you can tap in with the YouTube. Uh, you can get our contact info, bro. Real regular, real regular things down to earth type vibe. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to talk to you. So, we are, we are clear. So, uh, man, I encourage you to do that, though, bro. And really get your mind focused toward the most high, bro. Because we in the end times, this way ain't doing, bro. So, we're through the rise. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You see all these weird shit cracking off on the news. Excuse my language. And, and it's real, bro. These Bible, it's all written in the Bible, bro. And I can't give you everything I want to give you right now because it's too much. But uh, I do encourage you to tap in, bro. But the main thing you do need to know, even if you don't tap in with us, bro, is that you got to get Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. You got to have faith in God's son, bro. That's the only way you're going to get that forgiveness, bro, when he come back. You got to obey God's commandments. That's the only way you're going to get that forgiveness for your sin, bro. This is Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Do what? Fear God and keep his commandments. What's the conclusion of the whole matter? Fear God and keep his commandments. Okay, so the whole conclusion of the whole matter is fear God and keep his commandments. That's the whole end all be all. You dig what I'm saying? That's the whole ordeal. That's the whole, that's 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 what you gotta do, man. Hey, so what's your name again? Tico. Tico. Alright, Malachi. Alright, alright. So so tap in, bro. If 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 you're interested in doing that, bro, uh what I'm about to say. You got the flyer, you got the flyer. You got Facebook? Yeah. Man, bro, I mean shit. Close out first. Okay, so what? I was tapping in with Tico, man. I got a little side side track. But uh uh man, all praises, honor, and glory to the most high God, Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashayak, Yahweh Shah, Shalom.